you guys this is my first YouTube video review my name is Johnny I do quick reviews today I am reviewing room uh, the same name from the novel a couple years back by Emma Donahue who uh, wrote the screenplay for it is directed by Lainey a Averson who has done some pretty good work if you've seen Frank last year pretty underrated and also stars Brie Larson newcomer Jacob Tremblay Joan Allen and a special appearance by William H. Macy. Have you seen the trailers for the film? Basically, it's the, told through the eyes of a six-year-old kid. His name is Jack. He is confined into what is called the room, um, where this is where he knows about the world. He lives with his ma, played by Brie Larson, and one day she decides, you know what, they gotta get out of this room. So they plan an escape. And so the movie goes back and forth on his point of view and how he views the world. When you first see him, he, he makes confined space his own world. Everything that he says with the bed, the sink, the toilet. He says hi every morning, goodbye at night um, because these are the real animate objects that he believes in, which is pretty crazy. Um, and then as he gets out of the room and he explores the world, it is something new and weird to him and he's just not used to it, you know, and, and keep in mind, I mean, for five years, he was confined into that space. And the way that Jacob Tremblay plays it, it was very natural. I was very surprised at how heartfelt his performances, kids' performances are really hard sometimes. It, it's tricky because you can fake it. They can fake it a lot, but his performance is pretty natural. Uh, one of the big storyline themes also with this story is the relationship with Ma and Jack. Um, and kind of the role reversal that kind of happens as you continue to watch and develop. Brie Larson, to me, after seeing this film, is on the cusp, if not already going to be there, as a name that actresses people should know along the sidelines of Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Jessica Chastain, Emma Stone. She is that good. This is her best performance to date, and she did really well in short terms. Well, the movie in her role as Ma, she had to play the mother, also the daughter of the film. You know, there's an emotional range that happens once they kind of live life after the room. Um, and she had to convey it really well. You buy into every emotion she has. Um, this is something that, you know, I'm bad at predicting Oscars. Usually when people have Oscar nominations, you know, and I'll tell them these are the five performances I like, and some of them, like, don't even correlate to what the Oscar is, but her performance is one of the best actresses to date, for me anyway. Um, her performance, along with Jacob's alone, is worth the watch. Joan Allen, for a little screen time she had, was pretty solid there as well. Um, and William HDC, I know he's on the board, but he was there for like five minutes for this scene where if you watch movies that William H. Macy has been in, he's there for that role, pretty much. Um, but I do love the themes of the film. I like the connections between Ma and Jack. That's where the heart lies within this film. And if you guys want to see something that's moving, that's really good, tale on kind of like a survivor's guy because the the problem with this movie and, I, and it's not a problem with the movie i mean but the best thing about this movie is that these people have been kidnapped but we don't get to see the story through the eyes of the kidnapped they are victims but we're not playing as a victim victim card here right you kind of see how the characters go when they're in the room when they get out of the room and that's what I totally enjoyed. There's a little pacing problems with the film, but you know, that can be forgiven because like I said, the two performances alone make this film worth it. When it does come out, I do suggest it to everyone. It is an indie film, so it might be a little bit hard to see, but out of four stars, I do give it three and a half out of four. Um, so what do you guys think? Are you guys thinking about seeing the film? Have you guys heard of it? Um, there's gonna be a YouTube uh, link to the movie trailer at the bottom of this video, so check it out. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments, see what you think, kind of have like the discussion on this, because I really do think this is a really good film for people to see. Um,
Thank you again for watching my video. I also are, am on Twitter and Instagram at jnov11, jngo11. It'll be in my description as well. Um, this is the first one I've done. Hopefully it's not as bad as I think it might be, but you know what? All I care about is that, you know what, you guys want another opinion on film.